um, I'm going to present a recent work carried out in collaboration with the Italian Interuniversity Consortium Reluis. And in this work, we analyzed the seismic performance of four heritage buildings after the 2016 Central Italy earthquakes. And uh, today I'm going to show you one of these, the Palazzo Comunale located in uh, Camerino. Um, okay, Camerino uh, is a um, town of about 7,000 inhabitants and uh, is uh, situated on a hilly region of central Italy. And his historic center um, stands on the top of one of these hills. Uh, this graph is taken from the Italian Parametric Earthquake Catalog and uh, depicts the seismic history of Camerino. In particular, it shows the earthquakes that struck the town in the last uh, 1,000 years with an intensity greater than three, according to the mercalli cancani seberg uh, scale. And it's clear that several strong earthquakes struck the town in its history. And focusing on the last uh, 25 years, Camerino experienced two important seismic sequence. In 1997, the Umbria Marche sequence, and in 2016, the Central Italy seismic sequence. The last seismic sequence struck four regions of Central Italy between August 2016 and January 2017. And in the figures, uh, the, um, the red stars mark the epicenters of the eight main uh, shocks. The first two events um, at the end of August didn't cause many, many damages in Camerino while the three events at the end of October damaged many, many buildings. Uh, the maximum value of peak ground acceleration in uh, Camerino occurred during the um, earthquake of the 30th of October and was equal to 0 0.16 times the gravity acceleration. And uh, in this shake map uh, is marked by the dark yellow, yellow color. Uh, Palazzo Comunale is a building in the historic center of Camerino and before the 2016 earthquakes it was um, used as a town hall. It's possible to, um, to find this ancient um, building even in some uh, plants from the 13th century when uh, it already shows the same uh, a square shape and the same internal courtyard that we can observe now, nowadays. Um, as you can see from, from the map, Camerino is a part of a mesory complex, and that means it's part of a related group of buildings that were subjected to various transformation over the centuries. And in particular, in the west side of Palazzo Cam Comunale, there is a theater uh, called Teatro Marchetti that was built in uh, 1728, uh, demolishing pre-existing structures. And Palazzo Comunale is a three floors building with an average floor um, surface of about 1,400 square meters. And the building is characterized by the presence uh, at the first floor of three state rooms with the double, a, double height with, uh, and uh, with the Camorcana boats uh, that are boats made of plaster and um, a reed straw uh, hanging from the um, wooden centering. Um, the presence of these, uh, of these uh, double height rooms cause uh, um, irregularities in elevation and um, strongly affect the plan layout uh, of the upper floors, splitting, splitting it in uh, two portions that don't communicate with each other. Uh, due to um, the seismic event of the 1997, the Palazzo Comunale suffered extensive damage 
mainly due to the poor quality of masonry and the lack of wall-to-wall -wall connections. In particular, the activation of the, um, of the simple overturning of the main facade was the most significant um, damage. And on opposite, the continuous um, theater was not damaged at all. In order to um, repair the earthquake damages and improve the seismic behavior of Palazzo Comunales, um, strengthening measures were designed and realized uh, starting from 1999. In particular, uh, traditional strengthening techniques were adopted. Uh, the mechanical characteristics of all existing walls were improved by means uh, of grout injections. The wall irregularities were uh, reduced walling up the wall niches or hollows. Uh, the bending capability of some masonry panels were increased inserting vertical tie rods. And uh, the original wooden floor or roof uh, were uh, either replaced, went too poor, or stiffened, went too flexible. And finally, the wall-to-wall -wall connections were improved inserting uh, several tie roads. Um, the 2016 uh, event represented an opportunity to evaluate the effectiveness of the strengthening solution adopted in 1999. And for that reason, we carried out in situ um, surveys to detect the damage caused by the recent earthquake. And here you can see an example of one of the buildings plan uh, where, the, um, where we represented with uh, different uh, uh, red symbols, the different type of damage. And um, uh, we, um, we put blue marks uh, where we took uh, pictures to provide documentary evidence of the damage. Uh, I will show you a brief overview of the main uh, damages. Um, we observed some cracks uh, on the um, interface between the main facade and the boats uh, uh, at the ground at, and first floors, uh, but not damage was observed at the top floor. Um, so we can rule out the possibility that the main facade uh, uh, or, uh, or a central portion of it uh, uh, was, subject, was subjected to a vertical overturning, while the um, vertical arch uh, mechanism may have been activated. Uh, widespread millimetric cracks were observed on the load-bearing walls, uh, whereas only few cracks involved the entire thickness of the, um, of the wall. Um, in these cases, there are often discontinuities in the masonry layout, like the one you, um, you can see in this picture, that may have um, uh, facilitated the crack development. Uh, severe damage, uh, damages occurred in the non-structural components and in the stucco, de stucco decorations. Um, sometimes uh, um, inadequate uh, construction details cause local damages, as in the case of the connection of these um, these wooden truss and the and the masonry underneath it. And uh, uh, the most severe damage was observed in the in the theater. Uh, where the external la layer of the masonry gable crumbled due to the poor quality of the masonry and caused the partial collapse uh, of the portion of the underlying roof structures. And in addition, the, the earthquake caused a disarrangement of the, um, of the theater's roof covering and um, unfortunately, the, um, the necessary countermeasure were realized only after, the, after three years, 
and so the rainwater uh, penetration lead to the collapse of the Camorcana votes of the um, in in the gallery. Mm -hmm. So, um, as um, as mentioned before, Palazzo Comunale is a part of a masonry complex. Uh, and uh, given the historical evolution of the complex and the structural morphology of the structural units that made, made it up, um, we decided to split the complex in four structural units having homogeneous characteristics and um, model each unit individually rather than considering uh, the numerical analysis of the entire complex. Uh, so, um, a 3D macro elements model has been used in order to simulate the seismic response uh, uh, and the damage pattern of the Palazzo Comunale. And the um, structural interaction, in, in interaction with um, neighboring structural units were considered uh, by the introduction of corresponding loading and boundary condition. Um, two different models were created to assess the seismic response uh, uh, of Palazzo Comunale before the renovation work and after the renovation work. We then compared the results obtained from these two models with the damage observed after the 1997 and uh, the uh, 2016 earthquakes, uh, respectively. Um, the mechanical properties of masonry wall were uh, assumed according to the values provided by the Italian code uh, for the um, masonry typologies detected, detected in, the Palazzo, in Palazzo Comunale, while other mm, material properties and the structural characteristics values uh, were uh, borrowed from the original project documents. Uh, Okay, so to, to investigate the global response of the, of the building, um, simplified displacement-based procedure using a non-linear non static analysis well, was performed. And, um, and the model was loaded with a um, distribution of in-plane actions which were monotonically increased to um, simulate the effects um, of the inertia forces. And two systems of lateral forces, forces distributions were applied, not uh, non-simultaneously. In particular, um, the first distribution uh, was proportional to the displacement uh, of the corresponding for first model shape and uh, was, uh, was chosen since um, it was uh, representative of the behavior uh, of the structures in its original und um, undamaged configurations. And the second distribution was uh, proportional to the inertia masses uh, and it was uh, uh, more representative of the behavior of the structure at, at, uh, at collapse. And uh, as control node, it uh, was decided to adopt uh, the average displacement uh, of the nodes at, um, at the roof level. And uh, to, to express uh, in a concise way the results of the analysis related to the two models, I have reported only the values of the minimum seismic uh, safety index, the alpha parameter. Uh, defined as the ratio between uh, the maximum value of seismic acceleration corresponding to the attainment of the life safety performance level and the expected maximum acceleration prescribed by the Italian code. Uh, before renovation works, uh, Palazzo Comunale uh, exhibits a very poor performance uh, with a seismic safety index equal to 0 0.35. And as a result of um, sheer progressive failure of the peers. And um, uh, the 99, um, the 1999 uh, renovation allowed to um, increase the safety index. Uh, and uh, mainly, um, 
achieved thanks uh, to the improvement of measure equality and the reduction of uh, irregularities. And in both cases, the damage pattern uh, simulated by the software uh, are in good agreement with the um, damage pattern surveyed after the seismic events and um, showing that the software is a valid tool for the, um, for, for the safety assessment of um, the existing measure, the existing measure buildings. And um, regarding the results of the analysis related to model two that consider the Palazzo Comunale after the renovation work, we can note that uh, the seismic capacity corresponding to the attainment of life safety performance level is equal to 1.41. And um, the value is 65% uh, of the design value prescribed by the Italian code. And uh, the achievement of a capacity equal to 65% of the design actions was uh, exactly the design criterion adopted in the, um, in the project. Uh, so we can um, deduce, did, uh, deduce that uh, um, the results obtained with modern analysis uh, do not diver uh, diverge from uh, uh, those uh, obtained with the calculation methods available at the beginning of this century. And um, we can also compare the um, seismic capacity with the maximum value of peak ground acceleration occurred during the 2016 seismic sequence. Uh, and um, as you can see, uh, these uh, two values are, um, are very similar. In fact, the, um, the damage observed after the earthquake uh, perfectly um, coincide uh, with the definition of the life safety performance level. And um, as you know, uh, the, the um, the pushover analysis just presented takes into account only the in-plane behavior of the mesonry panel. And um, it is necessary uh, to analyze uh, the out-of-plane uh, response of the walls and verify the activation of uh, local uh, collapse um, mechanisms. And for this purpose, um, the, um, a, a macro element approach based on the um, theorems of limit analysis was, uh, was used. And each mechanism uh, involves uh, only single mesonry panel or an isolated portion of the buildings that are um, considered structurally independent from the rest of the building and are modeled as a set of uh, rigid blocks uh, connected with uh, hinges. And these figures show the seven, um, the seven mechanisms uh, analyzed, analyzed and um, uh, uh, which were defined according to the um, construction details and um, construction details such as uh, existing wall-to-wall -wall connections or wall-to-floor connections or structural discontinuities. And um, the table uh, shows the results uh, of the analysis and uh, reports the, for each uh, mechanism uh, the seismic capacity for the life, um, for the life safety performance level and the related uh, safety index. And uh, as you can see, before renovation, many, many mechanisms uh, were characterized by a safety index lower than, uh, than one, while the introduction of many steel tie roads allowed to prevent the activation of all mechanisms considered. And um, that demonstrates the effectiveness of this type of strengthening intervention in, the, in, in uh, encountering out-of-plane uh, behavior. Um, so in conclusion, um, the damage analysis of Palazzo Comunale and Teatro Marchetti 
reveal uh, the importance of properly improving the mesure quality in order to avoid the crumbling of some wall panels. Um, the critical role played by construction details to prevent local damages and the importance of ensure, ensuring a faster realization of the short-term countermeasures. And um, the 2016 earthquake caused less severe damages, damages in Palazzo Comunale compared to the ones uh, due to the, mm, the 1997 event, uh, showing that in case of extensive intervention on, on both vertical and horizontal structures, reduced damage level can be achieved even for heritage and uh, irregular buildings like the one we analyzed. And um, in fact, the, the, renovation, carry, the renovation work um, significantly increased the seismic capacity of the Palazzo Comunale. Um, and in, as shown by the results of the numerical analysis uh, um, that are in uh, good agreement with the damage observed after the, the earthquakes. So thank you for your attention and uh, thank you Stradata for, um, to invite me in this meeting. <laughs>